What's going on guys and welcome back to Prison Architect where our shakedown is still underway We have three more places to check out and uh, we found a bunch of stuff actually. Can you believe that it's Day 11 already Can you believe that this entire prison has been built in 11 days? That is ridiculous like I feel like Building a prison of this size right now alone would take I don't know a year maybe two I mean, you gotta lay down a lot of brick and fortified walls because it's a prison, but uh, anyway, I guess we'll move on past that. Uh, we have our parole rooms finally set up and ready. There are no doors, which is kind of strange at this point, but I guess there doesn't have to be, but you know what? We don't want to hear, we don't want, like, steel coming in over here and hearing, uh, I don't know, Mr. V in his parole room and getting some dirt on Mr. V or something. Hey, you don't want that. Is Mr. V still here? Is this him? No, this is a different guy. Uh, actually, we have not checked our gangs in a while. The Lightning Birds and the uh, Crazy Face Gang. Um, still down to one member. I, I don't know where the other one went. I He may have been Lever. I don't remember if he was or not. But, uh, what is... The, the guards have soldiers now? That's... Oh, you know what? That might be, like, gang-affiliated guards. That would be strange. I hope that doesn't happen. What? Oh. Oh, okay. I thought this was, like, his cell being filled up with water. I'm like, what the hell did he do? But has anybody seen Mr. V lately? Where the hell is Mr. V gone? He's still around, or what? Can you, like... Mr. V. Mr. V, did he change his name to Mr. H? Mr. V's right here. He moved cells. He's down here now. And then Mr. H is over here. What is his deal? David H? Uh, not much. I mean, he was in here for false imprisonment. Um, but anyway, let's, uh, let's move on past that. What are we doing in this episode? Well, I guess we need to get our parole hearings set up. That's probably the first thing to do. Uh, where is the parole hearings? Or do we have to unlock it? Uh, no, we don't. They're right here. So, start two of them, right? I mean, we have plenty of space. And I guess we do need to schedule these. Hold on. How can I? Isn't there a way to get into here yes so okay so I guess if they're shared they'll just end up being whoever it's like a first come first serve kind of situation here so this will be here and can I I can move these right I don't know how to move these oh I just click on them this will be here and here and then can they only do things as they're in their work time? I think that might be a thing. I don't know, honestly. You guys are probably going to have to let me know. Um, but here, let me do this, and we'll see kind of what happens uh, if I do stuff like this. Can Okay, so during work hours, I think people can go to the shop. So that makes sense, though, but I'm not sure. Maybe you can only go to a parole hearing when it's work time, and maybe that's what these represent. Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Um, we, if that is true though, we're gonna have to kind of move some schedules around, which is gonna be fairly strange. But, um, yeah, it might make things a lot more complicated. But who knows? So, we have zero prisoners arriving at 8 a.m. We have zero prisoners arriving right now, which is weird. It's fairly strange that we don't have any maximum security guys, like, in the queue. That's that's really weird to me, but I guess we have to deal with it. We don't have any more space for, um, just normal security people. Uh, so, I guess that's giving us some time to kind of work things out and kind of get this more or less operational before expanding. So, I think before expanding, we're definitely going to need to expand the laundry room and just make it have a bunch more capacity than it does. Um, I'm, the, in the last episode, the one guy got drugs and he smuggled them out of the infirmary. Uh, we should probably figure out a way to get them to not do that anymore. And I think a metal detector in here might work. 
do drugs get... I don't know. Drugs might not be, like, detected by metal detectors. We might need to put, like, a dog patrol up and down here. Um, yeah, that might be a good idea. We should probably... You know what? Ah, I, I was very briefly debating whether or not we needed a door here because if this was just permanently close actually we could just close it but this is good to have the staff to go through you know what we could probably just put a staff door here that's not a bad idea because then all of the prisoners will be forced to come up here and they'll have to go by this dog patrol you know what i like that idea i like that idea a lot Let's do that. Let's dismantle this. And then we'll also dismantle these two metal detectors. Or should we just leave one here? Let's leave one here. Uh, can I cancel that job? Yeah. So this will become a staff door, so only the cooks will be able to get down here to bring the food in. It just makes everything a lot easier. And then all of the prisoners in this wing will have to go up through here to get out. And that's going to make things a lot easier in terms of keeping things all situated. Steel, what the hell are you doing? Where are you going? And why are you getting escorted somewhere? Were you... Was he in solitary? It's possible. And how are you... He's got three hands! He's working out. Oh, there it goes. That was, that was weird. Um, yeah. Oh, we still need electricity up here. Um... Yeah, so we just need like a couple more of these in there to get that all the way run up. Very good. Let's get a chapel set up down here. It's probably a good thing. And then this, why is this here? Oh, you know what? That's from the reform program. That makes so much more sense now. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Ah, <sighs> very cool. Okay, so that is all figure it out. I feel a lot better about that now. And he might get out of here, you know? He's been reformed in our prison, and he is ready to go back to the real world. And, uh, hopefully, because that'll give us some money. Alright, let's... We need to get a chapel down here. We also should get a shop kind of set up, because we have a bunch of people who have a bunch of money in this prison, and they have no place to spend it, so... Let's get them spending money. I think that goes into our pockets, doesn't it? Uh, I'm not sure. And then the rest of this could end up being a workshop, in all honesty. That's probably not a bad idea. Um, so the chapel, I guess, we'll just put up here. Uh, so if no one gets, like, per if someone ends up not getting paroled, he'll be able to go get some Jesus in his life. That, I guess, is a good thing. Uh, I don't think it needs to be this big. A 10x10 10 10 chapel, that's, that's pretty big. But I guess it's pretty... It's okay because we need the, the pews, right? The chapels get the, the the pews or whatnot. Yeah, and these can get pretty big. So, actually, that works out perfectly. So I like that a lot. That's awesome. We'll put a door down here. And then I guess this will end up being the workshop later and then this could be the shop although this is huge maybe we'll separate this and make one of these the shop and then one of these the mail room that's not a bad idea i like how this is shaping up this is awesome um the shop doesn't need to be that big or does it it might although i like this location for the shop so that'll just be there well i guess we'll just have a really awkwardly small hallway to get down to the mail room um yeah i like that uh we have some lawyers coming in to visit with people strange uh yeah this is this is looking good let's go ahead and build this out as well since we have the money at this point and since we're looking at expanding stuff you know what it's bugging me that we don't have path work done up here so i want to get that done right now just like this and you know what? I need to get the remote access done, too. So let's go ahead and research that. That'll just help a tremendous amount with getting these doors open and closed for people because I am sick of not having people down here. Okay, this never got dismantled for some reason. And now people are just able to waltz in and out without getting searched by our metal detectors. Um... Yeah, that needs to be fixed, like, right now. 
Uh, we need to get these doors set up. And you know what? I'll go ahead and demolish this wall here. And then this will just end up being a... Or... No. Cancel that. That'll be a door. And then people will be able to waltz up and down here freely because we just won't put a wall right here. Cool. So this will be the mailroom. This will be the shop. Or maybe I'll switch those. I'm not sure. This is going to be our chapel. Things are looking up, guys. I really like where this is going. Um, where is the chapel? It's right here. Boom. Chapeled. Minimum size of 6x6. Six six. We need an altar, some pews, some prayer mats. I should have put the door on the other side. Uh, maybe. Let me see. Uh, the altar will go up here, just like so. The pews will then go in here. Right? Oh, there we go. That's the right way. Boom. Boom, boom. And boom, boom, boom. And then the prayer mats will just kind of... Oh, man, I can face those any direction I want. Very strange, but okay. Uh, the prayer mats will just kind of go on the back wall. I'm not sure who's who in what religion is what in the prison. Steel is just... He's getting around. I don't know if I like that about him. Like, he's... He's cleaning stuff, but at the same time, I don't really trust him to be just out in the general area, so... Uh, maybe we should make a double fence. Oh, you know what? We talked about getting a fence back here, and we never did, so... Uh, we need ten spaces out from there. Boom, this'll be a fence all the way out to... I don't know. You know what? Boom. Just like that. It's really not costing us that much money to get this done, so let's go ahead and do it up right. Uh, this is gonna be a yard eventually, and you know what? Let's plan that out right now. So, I have a plan, vaguely. I might change the plan, though. You know what? I'm gonna change that plan. So, this is going to be, like, the common room will extend out to here, and then we'll be able to make these cells, uh, four by five, I think we need here. So, we'll make them like this. Uh, four by five, right? Four by five. <clears throat> Just like that. And like that, and like that. I, I like that a lot. Cool. And then we'll do the same thing over here. And this will be just like all of these will be cells. Do it like this. And then this will be the yard. And then after that, we'll have just a, a new, a new, cell block that'll be a mirror of this one. So this is 12 by 22. This will go up like this. And then the rest of this will go out to here, I think. This is going to be 12 by 10. And 12 by 10. Although I wanted to keep windows in these cells, but I guess some of these cells just won't have windows. And we'll go ahead and just keep them as is, like this. And, yeah, it's looking good. I have, I like that plan a lot. Uh, it's kind of different than the rest of the prison, and I kind of wanted to keep some uniformity going. Is that a word? God, uh, I invent so many words. Um, but, yeah, this will just kind of extend the common room out. This will end up being a whole thing. Although, you know what? I could move these down one. I should move these down one. You know what? I'll move these down one. I just won't plan it right now, but I'll have to remember to move those down one because then this will be like that instead. Yeah, I like that. All right, let's get this up and running since uh, we have it kind of planned out here. And I hope this meets all the requirements for any size restrictions, though. I didn't check that. That could be a really bad thing. So we have the mail room, which needs to be 5x5. Five five. That could be easily 5x5 five five there. Uh, well... Maybe that's the mail room now. Uh, and then the shop, which needs to be 4x4. Four four. So that's got to be a smaller one. So let's go ahead and change that out anyway. It'll be like that. The mail room will be like this. And it's going to awkwardly be up to there. Although I don't like that. I just flopped that around. But I, I don't know. I guess we'll deal with it. Uh, the walls will come in soon. And then we'll go ahead and put some lights in here. We don't have any lights in here yet. 
So this will go in around here, just like this. This hallway, the awkward hallway, will have some lights. And then these mailroom areas will have lights as well. And of course, we need something over the altar and just kind of around this area as well. How is our electricity? We got those two capacitors last time. We're looking good. And yeah, I, I like where this is going. I've said that multiple times now, but we're looking good here. I hope, okay, we got three max sec people coming in tomorrow. So that's gonna be good. Um, should we extend this wall? Nah, not yet. We'll be fine there for a while. We do have that, uh, the dog guards. The, the dog guard? No, the K9 unit going up and down this way, so that'll be good. Do we have remote access? Not yet, though we do have surveillance and we never actually got that kind of sorted out. So, let's go ahead and, you know what, phone taps are crucial. So let's go ahead and get some phone taps up in this bitch. Let's go ahead and put those in. Um, did we ever put the phones over here? We did, so that'll be good. We'll put phone taps just around... And I honestly don't really know what the phone tabs do for us, like... It's gotta do something with uncovering, like, plans, but I'm not sure how we use that intel. Um, do we... Does, like, the person on the phone tap end up, like, telling the guards and then have them go search their cell? Somebody let me know. I'm not sure how that works. I hope that's how that works, though. Alright, this is done finally over here. Let's go ahead and make this the staff door that we've always wanted. Go ahead and put this in over here, and uh, just go like that. Very nice, and this is looking good. I like this, Um, yeah, what else is there to do? Oh, you know what? We could probably do for some CCTV monitors, or not monitors, but cameras up in this area. Probably around this area, too. You're in max sec. You're under surveillance 24-7, so that's good. Uh, I know that these CCTV monitors have, like, a capacity on them, but I'm not sure what that capacity is. So if anybody has, like, a concrete number they can give me, please let me know. And, uh, I will be eternally grateful, I guess. Uh, we never got lights down here? We should probably do that. This will go in and connect those up. Um, but yeah, we should get lights down for the doggies to sleep under. I don't know who sleeps with the lights on if you're... Well, I don't know. If you have a dog, you know that they're pretty much passed out like 24-7 anyway. Uh, but what was this gonna be? I don't know. I don't think it was gonna be anything. I mean, it could be an office, but I'm not sure we need another office down here, so... Maybe we'll turn that into another staff room or something, or maybe we could... <laughs> maybe we could turn that into a, uh, a restroom for all the, the guys. Um, alright. The chapel is finally up and running. Let's go ahead and get the program up and running as well. Which is somewhere in here. Spiritual Guidance. Yeah, so... Man, we can have a bunch of these. And let's go ahead and put these in. Where... Let's edit the schedule. Spiritual Guidance can go there and there. Well, that one can stay. That one will go here. Why do these get... Oh, unpin this program. Pin this program. Why are they pinned and unpinned? I don't know what that does. I guess it keeps them there forever or something? I don't know. I need to learn how that screen all works, but... Um, the parole hearing, we have... I guess people queued up, ready to go. And then, yeah, so... Okay, that answers my question. So... They'll only go do classes while they have, uh, f work time. So that is good to know. Uh, my only other lingering que question at this point is Can people go to the shop because this is staff only? I don't know. We should be able to get them in there, but who knows? We'll figure that one out soon enough when we get that all up and running, which should be close to soon. I thought I put a wall in here. Did I not? Did I like accidentally put a- no, this is in progress. It's just taking forever. There he comes finally. Uh, oh, look at that. We have a bunch of people in here already. They are getting their prayer on. Gibbs is one of them in attendance. Makey is here as well. Uh, but Mr. V is conspicuously absent. I don't, I don't know if I trust Mr. V. Where's he going? Maybe he's going to get some Jesus right now. Who knows? Uh, all right. 
Uh, and just for the sake of keeping things kind of consistent, let's get some paving stones up here. We could probably end up getting some of this kind of sorted out. You know what? Do we need to put some wooden floors in here? No. Are we going to? No. <laughs> 3600 bucks that I don't have to spend just willy-nilly on some wood floors for the chapel. So you're going to have to get your prayer on with uh, some cement floors. And wow, we need to get these CCTVs up and ready and all right you know what this is taking forever I'm hiring some more of these workmen I mean we have plenty of money right now we just need some more people working in this area because man are things going slow in this prison right now it's it's kind of frustrating but all right let's get this all outfitted as well we need a sorting desk and a table in the mail room where are those items? The table is right here. We could probably put that at the back. And then the sorting desk we could probably get up and running. What is the best way to put this in here? I guess we could put a couple on this wall. And then we'll just put like one more table back here. Because this is going to handle all of the mail for this entire prison. So that'll be good. And then the shop just needs a table. And then a shop's shelf. And then adjacent to room. Fail. Adjacent to room. What does that mean? I don't know what that means. Um, we need the shop front. Which we can put... Can we put it facing out? We can. Do we want it facing out? Or do we want it facing in? I think we want it facing in? Yeah, because this is always open. I kind of wanted to put it out originally, but I think this is going to be better. I just, adjacent to room is really strange, and I don't know what that means, and I hope that doesn't kind of kick us in the butt for whatever reason. But, all right, these shop shelves will then go in back here. I guess, oh, you know what? We'll do it like this. And then they need a table as well and this will be this will be good this is gonna end up being a pretty decent layout I like how that looks that looks really good um should we put a radio in there you know what yeah if you're at work at the shop why not you could have a radio if I can find it somewhere in here there it is yeah go ahead and listen to your tunes while you're working I mean the shop is kind of like the the place where everybody goes to you know shoot the shit I guess it's probably one of the cooler jobs in the prison I mean if you're in prison and you're in the shop, you get to, like, determine who gets what. And, uh, it's a pretty powerful thing for a prisoner to hold. So, um, yeah, I like that a lot. Let's go ahead and get some of the deployment set up. Or no, you know what? We need to get some of this electrical kind of run out back here. And probably down to, like, here. And... Uh, you know what, we'll just pull it into here. And then this will be a workshop, like I said in the last episode. This is going to be really good for us. Um, what is this? Status light? I don't know how any of this works. Like, this is all very complicated stuff. A door timer. Ooh, door timer. Ooh, I like that. The logic bridge. Okay, I'm gonna have to look into that. I don't know if we can set all... It, it might be how you set up doors and stuff and, like, what they're gonna be, like, doing at what times. And I guess you can have, like, logic gates that'll cut it off so you can have the doors hooked up to multiple timers or something, maybe? I don't know. But, uh, we need the phone tap to get all hooked up to all these phones. I don't know if there's a really easy way to kind of do this. But that seems to work for now. I don't know if there's a way, or I don't know if it matters which direction you pull it from either, but I guess this will be good for now. Oh, man, we have so many phones down here. Oh, man. Isn't there an easy way to do this? Can I? I guess I could just link them all up like that, although that doesn't make a lot of sense now, does it? Um, clear, clear connection? Okay. I guess you could just right click on it. That makes a lot of sense. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and hook all of these up. This could get really annoying depending on, oh, this is just the, I guess the, the tapping going on. 
I don't know if it's a bad thing to hook this many phones up to one of these either. You guys are gonna have to let me know on that one. Because I never played with the phone tap back when I played this game. Back in my day, damn it! I didn't have phone taps! I, uh, I, I, I was before that time. And, oh, these need to get hooked up as well. Um, to here, and then to here. And I guess we want to put a couple of the CCTVs in these areas where people could obviously steal stuff. So, I guess we'll have the one in the shop and the mail room. I don't think we need one in the infirmary because I don't think the, I don't really know if the person who's manning the CCTV is going, why can't I? Oh, it's because there's a table there? That's weird, but um, yeah, I don't know if the guy who mans the CCTV monitors will alert people if they see something fishy. Oh, see? We had the dog already sniff out some drugs. This whole change in uh, flow is definitely coming in handy already, so this is good. Um, I think we're gonna wrap this one soon, although first I want to get this kind of sorted out. Um, the foundation education, the kitchen safety, and then all of the rest of this stuff. I need to make sure that all of the prisoners have access to this kind of stuff. So, the general education qualification. We need a couple of those as well. Where are those going to go? I don't know. Let's go ahead and... Oh, pinning this probably saves it from being like a um, thing where like if you reschedule it, it'll become like a different thing. So we need that there. Actually, you know what? Let's put that here because if someone's in spiritual guidance, they can then bop over to the pharmacological treatment and things will look a lot better for them. Um, and then this looks good. This is here for whoever wants to get their cooking license, I guess. Uh, this common room is ready to be alcoholics group. Let's do that. And then let's do that for here too. We didn't actually schedule those, so that's a good thing. So I like that. Although I guess, yeah, I guess that'll work. Um, do they need like chairs for that or no? I don't know. Uh, oh yeah, let's actually move this one here too. So I like how this is going. This is looking good. You know what? I think we could probably just delete this one. So there we go. I like that. It's going to be a really good thing. These are all kind of making sense now. I like how these are working. I like how these are looking and all of this is kind of coming together so this building is pretty much done we just need a workshop in here that'll be in a future ep episode I'm not sure when this tool cleanup is gonna get done but um, whatever we have 14 hours till we receive some new prisoners gonna be pretty interesting hopefully we'll get a snitch and uh, we'll have to finish this wall as well but Guys, that'll be in the next episode. If you like this one, give me a thumbs up. If you hated it, thumbs down. And I hope you guys are liking these kind of longer formats of this series. And uh, let me know what you think in the comments. And until next time, I will see you back here in Prison Architect.